Well, 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 the news you and I were waiting for. The IPL is all set to resume and where is it going to be held? To tell you that, I am right here. We're going to find out that in today's episode. We're also going to find out what is Pat Cummins' World Test Eleven. Who has made it to his team? I will tell you. And we're also going to find out why the BCCI is seeking more time from the ICC for the T20 World Cup. All of this and much more only in today's episode of the News Tracker. Hello everybody, my name is Nivedna Prabhu. I hope all of you are doing well and keeping safe. Before I begin the video, if you haven't subscribed, to Crick Tracker as yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that button quickly and without wasting time, let's get into this video. Down for the World Test Championship final has begun. India and New Zealand are all set to take on each other. And when Pat Cummins was asked who does he think is going to win, he said New Zealand. Now, one fact of it is, of course, he's given his prediction in terms of who is going to win. But Pat also just went a step ahead and decided to make his own World Test 11 team. Now, who made it to that team? I will tell you. In the opening combination, Pat has gone for David Warner and Rohit Sharma. After that, he has Kane Williamson at number three, followed by Steve Smith and then Virat Kohli, Ben Stokes, Rishabh Pant and then Pat Cummins himself followed by Nathan Lyon, Kagiso Rabada and Jasprit Bumrah. Now that looks like a power pack team but you comment and tell me do you like Pat's team or would you make some changes? Let me know in the comment section below. Well, the one thing that the pandemic has surely done to all of us is change the kind of uh, schedules we had and also the plans and it's no different for the cricketing world. You know, of course, after the IPL was um, stopped midway, the other thing that happened is keeping in the timeline of the T20 World Cup, which was set to be hosted by India later this year in the month of October, November. Now, uh, coming to that particular point, the Board of Control of Cricket for India, that is the BCCI, has seeked more time from the ICC to take an appropriate call as to what they are going to be doing next in terms of the T20 World Cup. This will also have several factors considering the fact that will India still be safe to play because of course the COVID uh, cases uh, you know are of course increasing in India so you can't predict anything you know for that particular time. You also want everybody's safety to be also kept into consideration which is why the BCCI decided to ask the ICC for more time. This was also done through a virtual meeting. I'll give you more details on that. Now the decision to seek an extension was taken at the special general meeting which was held virtually. Now, in that particular statement, the BCCI SGM further authorized the office bearers to seek an extension of time from the ICC to take an appropriate call on hosting of the ICC T20 World Cup 2021, the BCCI said in its press release. Now, um, of course, you know, owing to everything to do with the pandemic, things are not certain at the moment. But what do you all think is going to happen? Will India still remain a choice as location? Or do you think something else is going to happen? Do you think the T20 World Cup might get a pushed a little bit let me know in the comment section below well 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 the news you and i were waiting for it is finally here the ipl's 14 season is all set to resume but it will not be in india but the good news is it's still going to happen but it will be happening in the uae now the bcci vice president rajiv shukla confirmed this news and stated that they took that unanimous decision of shifting the location to the united arab emirates now this has also happened because of the fact that they took that decision one of course keeping the pandemic in mind and the other fact being that during that period the monsoon will also prevail in India. So due to those playing conditions, they've decided to shift it to UAE. Now, I'll give you more details on how that's going to happen because there are 31 matches that will be, of course, played in the UAE. But what has the BCCI said on the entire particular new update coming in? I will give you. Now, the statement said the Board of Control for Cricket in India, that is the BCCI on Saturday, announced to complete the remaining matches of the Indian Premier League 2021 season in the United Arab Emirates. Considering the monsoon season in India and the months of September, October this year. The decision was taken at a special general meeting held virtually where members unanimously agreed to resume the IPL. Now that of course is fantastic news and I'm very excited. I'm sure you're also excited. So comment below and tell me what are you looking forward to once the IPL resumes? Give me your predictions. All the entertainment and action is going to start once again. So share your excitement with me in the comment section below. Well with that it's a wrap on this edition of the News Tracker. If you like the video you know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and of course follow all our social media channels so that you are updated and also entertained about all the latest news in the world of cricket. My name is Nivedna Prabhu. I'll be seeing you very soon. Until I see you next time, like I always say, take care of yourselves, be responsible and stay at home and do not forget your mask when you step out. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.